Ever feel like your money's playing a game of hide and seek and you're always it? Well, good news. We have the map to win that game. Welcome to the world of financial management, where the goal isn't just to save, but to save smart. Today, we're diving into a simple yet effective rule of saving. The 30-20-10 rule. Picture your income as a pie. No, not the apple or cherry kind, but a financial pie. 30% of it goes to your needs, 20% to paying off your debts, and 10% to your savings goals. Simple, right? But we'll be diving deeper into this, breaking down each category and understanding how to allocate funds effectively. So if you're ready to take a step towards financial freedom and make your money work for you rather than the other way around, then buckle up. Ready to finally win at hide and seek with your money? Buckle up. Let's dive into the core of the 30-20-10 rule. Needs, debt repayment, and savings goals. Picture this as a tasty financial pie, sliced into three not-so-equal parts. The largest slice, 30%, is dedicated to your needs. We're talking about those non-negotiables. Rent, groceries, utilities, and other basic living expenses. Moving on to the 20% slice, we're focusing on debt repayment. Whether it's student loans, credit cards, or that personal loan you took out for your dream vacation, this is the chunk of change you're putting towards becoming debt-free. Finally, the smallest but equally important slice, 10%, goes towards your goals. This could be for your emergency fund, retirement, or maybe even a down payment for a house. These three components form the backbone of the 30-20-10 rule. Each plays a critical role in ensuring financial stability and progress. So that's the 30-20-10 rule in a nutshell. Simple, isn't it? And hey, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips. Now that we have our rule, it's time to understand how to apply it to our priorities. Let's start with the 30% allocated for needs. This is where we track our essential expenditures, things like groceries, rent, utilities, and transportation. It's important to be realistic about what constitutes a need. That latest smartphone, probably not a need, but a sturdy pair of shoes for work, that's more like it. Now let's move on to the 20% for debt repayment. There are a couple of strategies that can help you tackle this beast. The first is the avalanche method, where you prioritize paying off the debt with the highest interest rate. This can save you a significant amount in interest over time. The second is the snowball method, where you start by paying off the smallest debt first. This can provide a psychological boost that keeps you motivated to continue paying off your debts. Both strategies have their merits and it's crucial to choose the one that works best for you. Finally, we have the 10% for savings. This shouldn't be a one-size-fits-all category, instead, break it down into different savings goals. You might allocate a portion to an emergency fund, a financial safety net for unexpected expenses. Another portion could go towards a retirement fund to secure your golden years. And don't forget to set some aside for life's pleasures, like vacations or a new gadget. Throughout this process, remember that the 30-20-10 rule is not a rigid frame but a flexible guide. Your financial situation is unique and your budget should reflect that. Maybe you've just landed a high-paying job and can afford to save more than 10%, or perhaps you're dealing with a mountain of student loans and need to allocate more than 20% to debt repayment. That's okay. Adjust the percentages as needed to fit your circumstances. Remember this isn't just about numbers, it's about your life. Prioritize wisely. All right, time to flex. The 30-20-10 rule isn't set in stone. It's here to serve you, not the other way around. Picture it as your personal financial yoga instructor, flexible and adaptable to your unique needs. If life throws a curveball your way, adjust your percentages. Maybe you need to allocate more to debt repayment one month, or perhaps you want to boost your savings for a short while. That's perfectly okay. This rule isn't just about numbers, it's about gaining financial awareness, taming the debt beast, and balancing your savings. It's like your personal financial GPS, guiding you towards your goals while allowing you to take detours when necessary. But hey, if the 30-20-10 rule doesn't fit your groove, there are other budgeting methods to explore. Zero-based budgeting, the envelope system, or the 50-30-20 rule might be more your style. The 30-20-10 rule is a guide, not a jailer feel free to adjust it to suit your unique needs and goals. Let's do a quick recap, shall we? We've learned about the 30-20-10 rule, a simple yet effective strategy to prioritize our finances. It's like a financial pie, sliced into three pieces. The largest, a 30% slice, is for your needs, the essentials that keep your world spinning. The next slice, 20%, 
is dedicated to paying off any debts, your own personal avalanche or snowball if you will. The smallest slice but by no means the least important 10% is for your savings goals. Maybe it's for that emergency fund or perhaps a dreamy retirement. But remember, this rule is not set in stone. Personalize it. Adjust the percentages based on circumstances. Share your goals in the comments section. Let's learn from each other. Remember the power to control your finances is in your hands. Let's make that money work for you. Before we wrap up don't forget to like this if you found it insightful. Also hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a chance to take control of your finances with our tips and strategies. Together, let's make that money work even harder.